Hello, hello, hello. Tanya is to roll. Welcome, 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 baby. We're going to do a divine connection read here. Welcome back if you are returning, loves. Welcome if you are new. We're going to jump into this divine connection. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for all the love and support you send my way. It is greatly appreciated. I send it all back to you guys a hundredfold. All my info for personal tips, donations, to buy any of my products is all down below in the description box. Okay, we're going to jump into this divine connection read. See what the message is. And if you do not know, we call it as the tarot turns because this shit always comes out as like a soap opera. So what's coming on for our divine connections? Okay, babies. Your person want to come back in and pick it back up from where things left off. They want to work it out. They want to pull together. And they're trying to manifest this connection back here. They want to be with you. They want some understanding. Yeah. They could also be missing you sexually. Okay. So they're trying to manifest this connection. They want to come have a, spec a sexual connection. Hang out a sexual connection with you here. One more spirit. Oh, that was too many. I'm not taking all those. Divine connections. There could be some hidden sexual secrets going on here as well. Yeah, with a third party. The smell of someone else on them. So your person could be trying to manifest a new beginning here with you. They want to pick things back up after having this sexual encounter with this third party here. Yeah, now they want to come back and resurface. They want to reappear after a period of hiding from you. They were giving out mixed signals here. Tell me more about this divine connection spirit. What's going on? Somebody could have been caught up under some type of sex magic from the third party as well. They're no longer trapped under this magic and now they're coming back towards you to pick it up from where things left off between you two this is why they're now reappearing after a period of, of hiding or being at a distance because they were up under some type of sex magic with the third party divine connections care if i pick it back up yeah so this person misses how it feels being with you they miss how it feels being with you and they want to come back and be with you here again clarify manifesting yeah because you are the only one that they want you're the one only one they want so they are trying to manifest this new beginning here with you clarify this playroom here for my divine connections they may want to try some new things with you honeys okay they want to start try some new things and they watch you from a distance they could be watching to see if you're dealing with somebody else as well. Okay? They don't necessarily have to have a third party. Yeah. They're trying to see if you're dealing with somebody else. So they're watching you, Divine Femme, to see if, you have, if you're in a connection with somebody else here. Because they do want to resurface. They want to reappear. They see you as a reflection of themselves. They see themselves in you here. Yeah, and they have something important that they want to tell you. They could have been hiding their emotions and feelings in the past because they were afraid that you were going to reject, reject them here. But um, you drive them crazy, honeys. Okay, and they're getting ready to come towards you here. No longer being emotionally distant. They're ready to tell you. Okay, hold on. No longer being emotionally distant. They're ready to tell you how they feel about you. And they want to taste you. Okay, and they want you to know they're going to make you theirs. What's going on with this divine connection, spirit? What can this divine film expect when it comes to this divine connection here? 
with this person coming back towards them, trying to pick it up, trying to manifest this new beginning, knowing that this divine film is the one that they want. And they're watching and stalking this divine film. What is the collective divine connection needs to know here, Spirit, when it comes to this read? <laughs> Spirit say, believe in the impossible. That's what you need to know. We're going to leave it sitting right there. Believe in the impossible. Bottom of the deck. You're very close to achieving your goals here, Divine Fam. You get a win-win outcome in your forecast, honeys. Okay. Divine Connections. Divine Connection. Your person is believing in the in the impossible at this time, too. Divine connections. Divine connections. Yeah, your person wants to come and retreat. They want to disconnect just you and them from the rest of the world. And they want to go try some, some new things sexually here, babies. Okay. Anything else? Divine connections. They want this trust here. Spirit says trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith. Believe in the impossible here. Yeah, this is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. This is a soulmate, a divine partner. Yeah, they know that you deserve love and you are lovable. And they're coming to give you this love that you deserve here. They're going to express their love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. Okay, honeys. You made them love you, baby. Okay? They are trying to see if you're dealing with somebody else. They're no longer dealing with a third party here. Karmic energy. That's that's done. Okay, they're coming back to, to pick it up where it left off. Let's put some terror on this and then we'll close it out. Divine Connections. Divine Connections. Divine Connections. Divine Connections. I'm doing it to jump. Divine Connections. Okay, so we have a King of Cups coming emotionally balanced, cautious, and powerful, soulful, and mysterious. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. They want to hold on to you. Okay, they may be a little guarded. They could have been a little possessive in the past. They may be a little possessive now, but they're coming to hold on to you. They don't want to let you go. Tell me more spirit divine connections. Yeah, they had to close out. They had to close out um, a karmic completion. There were some difficult endings here. Because you're the only one they want. Ten of Swords. There was a betrayal. They closed these karmic cycles here with the karmic. Because they want you. They want to hold on to you. They want to be with you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Queen of Wands. Um, Leo, Aries, Sag energy. They want to come in. They want to speak their truth. Okay. They want to give you um, some type of knowledge. They're standing in their authority. They're standing in their power here. They see you as someone ambitious and confident, attractive, successful, self-assured here. And they want to come tell you the truth about this karmic. Because they don't want to let you go. Yeah. They want to bring you justice. They want to balance the situation here. They want to bring you harmony. They see beauty in this connection with you yeah eight of pentacles now they want to come put the work in okay diligent work improvement steady progress they want to move forward here with you if they want to go from the four of pentacles to the eight of pentacles with your babies okay yeah see they were juggling in the past but they're now they're ready to make the change they're ready to adapt because they don't want to let you go No longer lying. The moon in reverse. I feel like they're releasing the lies. that Whatever hidden truth there was. They want to come tell you. Whatever illusions there was. They're going to tell you the truth. They found out the truth about this karmic here for sure. Yeah. They're going to come tell you. That they want this ten of pentacles with you. 
power couple, long-term committed um, connection here, ultimate happiness, le leaving le legacies and value here. Yeah, and they're coming with the truth here. And they're coming as your counterpart, the King of Wands. Intense, fiery boss leader, alpha energy. Yeah, they're returning. Ready to reconnect. Nostalgic kindness. They're hoping that luck is in their favor and that they can heal this connection. Okay. Whatever burdens or opposition there was, they're, they're releasing that. And they're coming in to make you this love offer here. Yeah. Any any choices and options, third parties, they're leaving them out in the cold. Okay, and they're coming in very quickly. Knight of Wands, impulsive action. They want the, the adventure and to explore with you here, collective. And they're manifesting this very quickly. Spirit says believe in the impossible. So this is what's coming in for the divine connections as the tarot turns. This divine masculine. It's coming to give you some truth and clarity about wanting this connection here. Ready to put the work in. They have closed out and did the difficult endings when it comes to the karmic. And they are re reappearing because they see a future here with you. They see this relationship for the long term. And they are bragging, telling people about you. They may really do on marriage here. It's going to be slow. Take your time. But there will be a reboot here, babies, Okay. Wants to leave the past behind and start fresh. So if this resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, my love. Spirit says it's a time to give rather than take love, okay? And your commitment is just being tested at this time. Emotions are running high. Take time to breathe out, guys. But conclusions are within reach. Believe in the impossible. Because the energy is gaining momentum. And there's a new romantic cycle that's about to begin for you and your divine counterpart here. Okay, loves? Now, once again, if it resonates with you, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time. Ah! Uh, love, light, and peace, my TT babies. And this is another episode of Ask the Tarot Turns.